All right, so I'm recording right now. And so uh, it's gonna, everything I share is going to be on today's uh, recording, Zoom meeting, okay? So if you wanna go back over and review it, what we talked about, you can do that, okay? Cool, thumbs up? Okay, yeah. thanks. <clears throat> All right, so sharing screen, let's dive in. Okay. minimize this right here so um so they're going over different script formats have any of you thought about like being in uh like uh i i can't see anybody right now so just just shout it out has anybody thought about uh, into doing drama or um anybody into do like you know like film film or are you more into news just so I'm film. actually a drama major, so drama for me. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, so this, if you could see, can everybody see the screen? Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So, um, the basic script. Um, this is this section of the book here is I'm just kind of going to go over it since we don't you know have some people you don't have a book chapter three and it goes over basic scripts and so they're kind of giving you the type of scripts and the way to format a script and the way you would format a uh, say a news uh, a, a news uh, show is formatted a little different than say the way you would do a, a drama show and I'm not going to get too detailed here because you know, um, I'm going to show you some examples. So, okay, so a new script. Let's see, they're showing you here a basic script. So this would be a basic script for a drama. So the the way it's it's a lot like a play actually. Like anybody's in drama will recognize this. They'll describe what the scene, the set looks like, or the the scene looks like, where it takes place. You know what scene it is and then and then they'll have the characters and then they'll show you what the characters are doing that's a lot like uh, like a play right somebody give me a yes or no all right so um so you kind of see it get an idea you know you have the dialogue and you have it laid out and that's a single column script and that's what most scripts look like um, like for a drama uh, series um, now here's a two column script and this happens in documentaries um, it happens uh, on a lot of drama plays also and then so you lay it out and you guys eventually we are going to, in a few weeks we are going to write a script so um, this is going to be your example to use in your book um, on the le on the, you know the left, you've got what's going on in the video now. This okay. This would be um, what are they calling this? Oh, it's just an example of a two-column script. So in the left, you have the video, what's going on the video, and then on the right, it's the audio. And and like I said, a lot of documentaries do that. Say you're gonna make a script. Um, I don't know something about water, and on the left, you may have water. Um, dripping you might say right here the video is the water dripping okay and then and then you may the audio you're going to write the sound of water you know and then you might have a voiceover you might have somebody here and then they're going to yeah it's a documentary um this is more documentary style okay anybody have any questions right now because i can't see your faces or no, so, do what i say no not no okay, you right guys now. shout it out. Don't don't be shy, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Is this this is more of the same thing. All right. Back sheet. Okay. PowerPoint. Okay. So this is more like a, a what's this a commercial a commercial. So if this were a news uh, a news let me see if there's a news one in here. There was one. 
this is mainly the, the, the format for um, most scripts is it's a two column script and you, you know, you write the video. All right, so people, places, politics, show format. Okay, so this is more of a news format. And when the difference in a drama documentary in a news is be, that on the right hand side, they have this all written out word for word uh, what what the um, the news presenter is going to say, and it's usually c comes out on a teleprompter. Okay. Questions? No. Uh, Video Pro CD. I don't know what this props. All this don't don't get. I'm making this kind of basic here. Um. Okay, don't worry. I'm not too worried about this. Type con drama on click. Oh well. I'm not worried too much about this event order. Okay. Oh, they're just talking about how to write like a drama script. And um here, you know, here we're talking about something where you make an arc to the story. So you start out, you present the story, and then things, you get conflict, 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 and then you're at the, the height of the conflict, and then and then the, the, all movies have, most all movies have this pattern, and then they start try to figure out the problem and then they resolve it. That's usually, this is usually the pattern of most drama scripts, okay? All right, I'm coming back here because I'm worried you guys are quiet and no, I don't see people here. <laughs> Somebody, but few of you went to sleep. <laughs> right. I'm not used. To, I'm still not used to talking to the screen. <laughs> All right. So, what? Any? Am I just? Am I talking? Give me some feedback here. Is this too much talking? Talking lecture? Are you? No. I got a question. Rob, yes. I was gonna ask them. Um, don't most like oh, drama series yeah, nowadays, like uh, uh, like how to get away with murder and stuff like that? They kind of do that in reverse, don't they? They'll show you like the climax and the big thing, and then show you what kind of happened and leading up. They kind of like was it flashback foreshadow. No, that's more of a documentary kind of thing. So when they lay that out, they lay out like they, they do, they could like that, you know, that you already, they show you the facts you already know, right? So say, say some, some guy, you know, we're talking about some ax killer or something and you know, he already murdered 10 people. Then, you know, of course they would present that, you know, that scene at first and then they present it. But the reason you do a script is to, to, what if you what if you did a film with no script? What would happen? <laughs> what would happen? Improv. You doing It'd improv? Over the place. I, don't I don't. There's exam. There's people who do improv. I mean, mm -hmm. does anybody know any examples of an improv? Like, was, I don't know if that's a film. Wasn't the office like most of improv? Kind of? Was that improv? I I never liked that show. <laughs> oh. Yes, Mackenzie. <laughs> well, when I was in this play, like for church. My um drama director would be like improv, and then when, when she would say that, it would it's not like what's on the script, but you kind of how do I say it? You make it fit in with the script, like it was there for you to say already. If that makes sense. Yes, I think that's a whole special thing, Talisha. Thank you for that raised hand thing. That's really cool. Thanks, because I I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do the talking out. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, Tisha, there's a raise your hand feature on, on, on Zoom. Ooh. Alicia, what's your question, hon? I didn't mean to raise my hand. I didn't know I did. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> but she looks so polite. Raise but, but, hand beside her screen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, they just, um, if you, like, forget your, like, lines or whatever, you just, like, go with the flow and try to fit it in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully you know your script before you really do a performance or anything, you know. <laughs> All right. So let's let's just dive back in, okay? I, I'm just gonna just keep keep rolling here. Um, 
All right, so we had enough of that. Let's see what else. Non-dramatic structure. The idea of a feature. All right, well, last week, you know, we talked about doing a treatment. We talked about brainstorming, right? Your, your, uh, your, your work, uh, you know, coming up with a good idea and then, and then writing a treatment. So the treatment happens before you write the speech. Well, the treatment happens, and that's a means of uh, raising money to get your project done. And, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, you know, they go on Patreon or, or places like that, or they may have connections and they may have like a big um, a production company or uh, an executive producer that that's willing to uh, fund the work. Um, so if that's the case where you pro provide a lot of times you need if you have a project, you, you want to make the treatment and then you make a script and then you have a little package and then you, you put it out there to the uh, certain places like what I mentioned to, to get funding or at least to get your like funding to get your, your get you off the ground and started. So we're going to talk about a director. I have some people that are directors in this class, right? Okay, so I have a few directors in the class, right? Yes, ma'am. Sure do. Now, this is interesting because you can be everything. I mean, I think I'm, I just came up being an everything, you know, more producer and director. And I don't like to write as much, but, you know, I write. And, um, you know, that's a smaller production and, and it's good to be able to do everything. Um, all right, so let's jump back on. All right, so pre-production. So, <clears throat> you know, I think if, if you're not both producer and a director, I think the producer and director works really, works close together as a team. So we know the producer is in charge, is pretty much the boss. They're pretty much in charge of the money, the hiring people, um, the scheduling of, of employees, okay? Um, you got, that's important. If you're not taking notes right now, that would be a note. Okay, I'm gonna ask again, what does a producer do? It's gonna be on your test. All right, I'm coming back. What does a producer do? Raise your hand, Rob, what does a producer do? Xavier, what, Xavier. What does a producer do? Tamira, what does a producer do? I just said it. Nobody knows. Okay. I'm sorry, I was trying to get it down in my notes. Okay. Producer is the pretty much in charge of the whole production. They're in charge of the money, budgeting. They, uh, they, might hire the crew. A lot of times a director though might bring his crew along. If it's a, a drama type situation, a film, that's why I'm telling Rob and some of you guys, if you're interested in working in a camera crew, go make friends with people and be with them because they will travel from project to project together. So if you're in and you do a good job and they like you, you're going to keep working. They're going to take you to the next project. They're usually the director wants to keep all his people. And then when the next project comes up, they bring you on. So if you're floating project to project, you haven't, you're not in yet. Um, producer, what else did I mention? Okay, did everybody get that? For what a product? And usually if, let's say you are a producer, maybe you got the funding and you know and then we're going to talk about what the director does both of them work really close together um, okay so there's different types of directors you could be a director of say a news show or the the evening news or, or say a PBS show like the one I worked on when I worked as a director at a PBS show, um, and I was a producer, but when I was directing, basically I was there to make, sh make sure everybody knew what to do 
in the in the in the when we were shooting the show. So I would be sometimes I'll be running the board. Um, sometimes I would be you know fixing lights in the studio. I did a lot of wear a lot of hats in that job as a director. If you are, let's just keep going here. If you are in a big production show and you're a director, you're going to be, um, well, let's talk about pre-production, how you prepare. Okay. This is easier for me to just talk. What does a producer do? So you're gonna be in charge of the overall of what this film looks like. You're gonna, you might be, like I said, you're gonna bring your crew in, you're gonna figure out who do you want for actors? If you're in a big production, you're going to have uh, there's going to be a, a company that's going to you know give you actors. Um, if you're a small production, you're going to go on what Twitter and Facebook and find your actors. Sometimes you know. Um, if you're going to decide, you're going to if you're a big production, you're going to have a uh, a cinematographer who's in charge of the look of the film and, and the filming and the crew. And you're gonna decide, sometimes the script might need to be rewritten. There's so many things. The director is pretty much the creative brains of the production and the producer is the money person of the production and the business side of it. So if I had to break it down, I would say, I would, I would break it down like that. The producer is the business and, and the nuts and bolts running and the, and the director is the creative guy, person, woman. It needs to be more women product, women, pro, women directors, okay? <laughs> Just putting that out there <laughs> in the business. And there needs to be more, yeah. All right, so let me jump back on here and see what they got, okay? All right. What the show is about. All right, well, they're kind of, this book gets a little chatty, and I, I'm not going to be that chatty with this. So uh, visually, okay. So one of the things, this is a key concept right here in the book, visualization and sequencing. So there, and just like in theater, you know, where you have, say, the director's in charge of, say, how that's going to be staged. Um, you know, in a film that director's, uh, going to figure out how the best he's going to read the script carefully and then and then he's going to figure out how this whole film is going to go together um i mean we could go into some really cool films um different types of films he might be known for a certain kind of genre you know he might be this director might be he might have because he's made a lot of horror films or he makes these uh, dark noir films or maybe he makes comedy or whatever so he's going to decide the way you, you can like take a script and, and make a, a hundred different films with the same script by the way you stage it and the way you, your actors portray it. So, um, does that make sense? I'm going to jump back here and talk to you guys a minute. Does that make sense to anybody? Any, any com jump in. I, we're in a conversation. So jump in, <laughs> energize. Tell me what you think. Does that make sense? It makes sense. All right. Okay. Anybody any questions or anything? Okay. I'm so used to being in the class and talking to people in person, like the energy, and it's, it's you know. All right. All right. So keep moving on here. Class is going by fast. It's 11:30 already. So, all right. All right, so this, they're just showing you another script, how director prepares. So let me just say that every director is a little different and it depends on your production. So they're just showing you a script here. So when we get to writing scripts for a show, you can go to your book and you can use this thing here. Uh, Siri, closing opening. See, this is just something, this is not standard how everybody does this. This is something where you make it work for you. It's basically, you know, I wouldn't say there, there's no standard way how to do this. It depends on the production. All right, the major segments, interview, prepare for the show. 
Okay, so if you're prepared, it depends on what your show is. If you're preparing for, like I said, if you're some kind of news show or documentary or PBS, the chances are you're going to be writing the show too because they don't have a lot of money. Um, if you are preparing for a film, you're going to be also you're going to be working with a lot of different people. You're going to be in production meetings. You're going to be talking about well, they're talking about how to interview the floor plan. Okay, well, this is kind of, they're making this like a theater. If you're doing a scene like in your house, they're going to figure out how to, how to sketch this out. Honestly, this is kind of, I'm not going to hold you responsible for this because what you would do if you're making a film is you bring your actors in for a, a rehearsal and you go, you do a reading, you sit around a table and you do a reading of your script and then the director talks about how he wants things shot. Then he has production meetings with cinematographers and he uh, talks about the look of the film. Um, and then he gets set people. If you're, if you're making a set, he's gonna be talking about locations. You're gonna have to get things approved. Um, interview set cameras. Okay, now this is uh, kind of neat. This is, this, does everybody see this diagram right now? Interview set, the camera positions. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so to be a good director, you also need to know your cameras and everything and where what the look is. So uh, this would be, you know, this is an interesting, I have never seen anybody do this. They're just showing you this in the book, you know, like make a diagram where your cameras are going to go. But this, they do, you know, they have this set up where they're showing you where the angles, so they're going to have a three camera production. And then they have, this would be like in a news uh, show, like a, a, a PBS show where they're gonna set up their cameras. So they've got their host, you know, right here, camera two would be the, is always the um, host shot generally. And then camera one is the guest. And then camera, this is always in, in production, in news, in um, P, you know, interview productions with three cameras. I will say that camera one is gonna be on your guest. Camera two is always for your host. For when he does a monologue and then uh camera well, they have two cameras camera three is a full shot of the whole scene when they pull out and i'm giving a lot of a lot of information it might tell me just just jump in if i if it's too much interpreting a location sketch okay so you know when, when, a, when a director has a, a uh, just to say, uh, when a director is preparing, he's interpreting the script. I'm just going to go like that, just flying through this. Okay, so the next thing, and I guess directors make story, directors don't always make storyboards. Some people, it depends. But um, when you have a script and then you're getting ready for your production, you do want to make a storyboard. Um, and has anybody, let me jump back here. Has anybody done a storyboard? Value. Yeah, I've done one. Tell me about it. What What did you do a storyboard for? What kind of production? I did a storyboard for your class. Yes. Yeah, that's what I was, speak, I was talking about speak, for class. Tell, speak, tell us about storyboards. I don't want to talk the whole time. <laughs> tell me. Um, like. We did this um, basic uh, intro to uh, television, right? Intro to um no it was like a little Photoshop. Oh that's yeah yeah same thing okay tell tell me tell us about it. What did you do? You did a good um, job. Like, I remember. We had to basically just set up like how we want to eat scene, and we just like like just had to show it in order. Like we just drew it out really. Yeah. So why did you do the storyboard? Um. We had to make a, a video. I forgot what the video was about. Okay. So when you're doing a script, say you got an idea, you write your treatment, then you make a script, and then you um, make a storyboard. The reason you're doing a storyboard is so, okay, like and I'll give you an example. Like I did, I worked on a music video. And, you know, sometimes, 
sometimes it's it's so that you make all your shots shot for shot for shot so you know where your camera is going at, in every t every shot that you're putting together and it's how you're going to tell your editor say say you're not editing it say you've got somebody editing it for you so they're able to look at all of this the, the script the you know the notes they're able to look at the storyboard and they know how that piece is going to go together so it's 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 there's no guessing here okay does that does that make sense yeah just go uh, yes ma'am appreciate it appreciate it thank you <laughs> miss cat needs feedback all right so let's jump back again gonna keep keep moving is this is this working just looking at the book and stuff is this all right we're all right all right yes all right, so this is a good example of a storyboard in your book here. So they're showing you, you know, they're just showing, and, and, um, and you know, as, as, as I keep saying your name, Xavier, right? Xavier. Um, yes, ma'am. In French, it's Xavier. <laughs> uh, so you're going to like what, you're going to number your shot, you're going to write your scene, you're going to write the title. And then you're going to show, like, you know, like usually in when you make your shots, you're going to make something that's a close up of the person, like a reaction, and then they're going to back up and show you something else. So this is an example of what a storyboard looks like. And a lot of times underneath here, look, he's even got look right here. It says tracking LS Agent Twelve continues. So they're going to show what they want the camera to do. Sometimes there's there's really simple. You don't have to know how to draw when you do a storyboard. Maybe there's an arrow or something that's you know that shows where the action is going, where the camera is going to move. So you write down all your notes down below here. Okay. Um, so this is a hand drawn one, and you know sometimes they have people who come in who do it. You know in a bigger production, and you know you do it if if you don't have a lot of money. Uh, oh, here's for a PSA. Now this is a fancy one here. This would be something you could show all your crew and it'd be something that you're, um, this is a powerful tool. Like say you have this all put together and you wanna get your money, financing. You want somebody to help you make this happen, money. So, if you're able to, I mean, this is amazing. I've never seen a storyboard this this well drawn out. But you know, let's say you almost don't even need a script if you've got like a thirty second um, um, PSA, and you know, you know, maybe there's no uh, talking in it. You could almost do this and then shoot it, like as and using this. Oh, this is a generated. Um, storyboard so that's computer generated 3d graphics that's amazing all right so all right let me jump back again all right any questions we good that would be cross off comments okay all right let's jump back in Jaden, how you doing today i just saw you there Okay. All right. So, all right. So, when you make a script, there's a couple. There's a lot of different ways to make a script. There's actually software apps that will give you the formatting for the script. So you might want to write that down. That's a good thing to know about if you're going to be writing a lot of scripts. Um, that kind of makes it a little easier just to fill it out. Um, this is can you repeat, ma'am. Can you repeat what you just said? Uh, there's actually software that you can get for script writing, it makes it a little bit easier, and it helps you format it. Say you want two column, whatever, it, it helps you format it if that's what you really are in, into i mean I, I would if you're just here learning about it and you know i wouldn't i would just use regular 
word, you know, but it, it does make it a little easier. I've used it before. All right, let me, let me jump. Oh, you know, time changes and stuff. Hold on a second. All right, let's jump back in. Oh, um, you know, also, um, while I'm thinking about it, um, I just got, we, I don't know, it, the, do you guys have Adobe, um, like editing Photoshop on your, yeah, did you get it through the school? Okay. No, but I get it this semester. Okay. Let me explain something right now. Okay. I, I have, I fought really hard to get this for you guys so you would be able to download it on your computers. It's been crazy because the only way we had any editing software was at the school in our like five or six computers in the lab. <laughs> and that's been so frustrating for students and for the faculty. So I have been, you know, the squeaky wheel. And, and so I thought we had it the first week and then um, my students still couldn't get on it. And so I've been talking to Ms. Riley in, in IT and she's such a great lady. She just sent me an email and she said she's got a Adobe license for students, not just, you know, cause it was, they had made it for faculty. And um, but so now we have a license for Adobe and that's great for you guys. I will send you an email and it will tell you how to get on it because we're going to be using it. So I just want to just, I'm just so happy about that because that's going to make everything so much easier for you guys. And as far as being able to download it. So, yay. So I got Yeah, yeah. Thumbs up. Yay. All right. So I got a question. Anthony, yo, what'd you say? So with the Adobe, you'll be able to use it for free because last time I had the to get a subscription. That thing was taking like $60 out of my account. Oh, mercy. When did you do that? Last semester? I had a class um, digital imaging with Mr. Lane. Right. And I, um, I had to use Adobe Photoshop. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. with the license, so with the license, we'll be able to use it for free? Yes, sir. Yes. Because I had digital imaging this semester. Sorry, Tamir, what? I was saying, please let me know if I have to pay or not because I have to, I have digital imaging this semester, but it not, it's not with the same professor, but I still have it and I have to get it. I don't want to pay if I don't have to. No, it's going to be free for yeah, students. Not I, I've been, I have been the squeaky wheel, squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. And I keep sending notes to IT. And like to, to, this morning, I just got the email, just read it right before class that she's got, they, they got us a, 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 a special account with Adobe for students so that it'll be free. So, I mean, right now, if I didn't look so stupid, I'd be doing the happy dance because I'm so happy because you guys are going to get it for free. That's we okay. definitely appreciate you. Yeah, you. definitely appreciate you. Yeah. Yes. And after class this afternoon, I'll send out a, uh, an email about how, how you guys can do that, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thanks. Special directions. All right. So let's just keep rolling. So we have about 15 more minutes. I, class does go by kind of fast, right? <laughs> I hope so. That caught my or maybe because I'm talking so much. I don't know. All right. All right. So there's a bunch of this stuff I'm not going to get so detailed about. You know, like, you know, if you have to mark your, you know, editing, you know, you can actually say you have shot all your film and you've got all your clips. You can actually rewrite your script, like, and, and you can do what's called a paper edit and you can actually rewrite the script and then say somebody's editing it for you by looking at your notes. When you rewrite your script, that's how they could put the piece together by looking at the clips and, you know, putting it together. That's a lot of work though. All right, so this is an example, I guess they're giving a video ready and effects take. Um, okay, so this is director notes that's been bad script writing. Okay, so th this is just a director making notes all over their script. And they're calling bad script writing, too much information on it, so you can't see what's going on. 
make your script real clear and make it simple. Okay, so this is where they're telling you where they want, they're showing some blocking notes, where they want the actor to go. This is an example of, of you know, what's going on and, and the action and, and how, how they, but everybody works differently though. So you just, you have to just do it your way. All right, camera two. All right, so they're showing the shots where things are going. When you make a production and you're directing, when you make your storyboard and you, you, you also want to make a shot list so that you know exactly where your camera is going to be, where and when. That's really important. Because if you don't line your shots up right, what do you think it's going to look like? It's gonna be, it's gonna be jarring. Like you're gonna be taken out of the story if you don't have your shots lined up right. Also, I want to add in here that you're gonna be talking to your audio people too about what is the overall sound effects because if your sound is wrong, I guess I could show some examples of that. If your sound is wrong, that's gonna jar you out of your story, out of the production too, right? Uh. All right, okay, it's getting, this is getting so funky, too much, too big. All right, I don't want to go too far. That's, that's pretty good. Crew call, tech, notes, set up lighting. All right, that's probably enough for today. So let's just talk for the next few minutes. Reaction, thoughts, questions, chat. If you can, please turn your audio, if you turn your video on, I'd like to see you here. Um, okay, so reflection. What, 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 any thoughts here? Um, questions that you might think might be on the test. Um, um, so reflections, maybe. Um, when is the test? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up by Friday. Okay. Okay, and that'll give you time. Will you have a book by Friday? Who thinks they will not have a book on Friday? Raise your hand so I can get a count. Yeah, I don't think I'll have a book by Friday. All right, let's wait till next week then. Next, I'll give you until, I'll have it up on Friday and you'll have until next Friday to do it. I'll give you a week to do it. Okay, Mackenzie, are you okay with that? Okay, all right. Uh, all right, yeah. And then um, Wednesday, we'll talk, let's see, that's a, that was a lot. I gave you a lot about scripts and everything and pre-production. So um, we'll cover the next chapter on Wednesday. Um, and like I said, here, here you've got an example because I'm showing it if you want to take the test and, and you can look in, at this video and get answers from that too and go back and take notes too okay um, all right so we have about five more minutes or so any other questions thoughts reactions do you have any idea of any projects you would like to do in this class I think we're going to be doing a 30 second commercial one of the, I have to look back at my, what I wrote, but, um, you know, we're going to do some cool little project and we're going to do it with cell phone and, and then you'll be editing them and then we'll be presenting them in this, in this forum here. Just giving you an idea that I'm not going to be lecturing <laughs> the whole, the whole time. We're going to be doing stuff too. Okay. Cause yeah. All right, uh, Nakia, how are you doing? You got any thoughts, questions here? Reflections? I'm good. I'm good. Xavier, what are you thinking? I'm cool with everything. I'm ready for the test. Yeah, I don't know about <laughs> okay. that. All right, Jada, right on. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> Jada, any thoughts? I love your colors. That purple's pretty there. It's like a. <laughs> Thank you. That's just my pillowcase. <laughs> oh, it looks but, like um, I thought maybe it was your aura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, ma'am. 
But um, I'm just taking everything in, and I did learn a couple of things today. But no, I don't have any questions. Okay, that makes me feel better. Tamira, any, give me some reflection here. Yes, and I'm learning a lot. I was writing notes in my phone the whole time so I can go over impressed. and study. Because, <laughs> yeah? I was impressed. Oh, thank you. But yeah, I learned a lot, and I'm, I think I'm ready for the test as well. But class was good today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> always worried, like if I'm talking the whole time, I'm always so worried, you know. Right. Well, man, I'd rather be talking, like not. So <laughs> you're good. Okay, thank you. I appreciate the feedback. Rob, give me a reflection. We're winding down a summary reflection to, to summarize our class. That's at 90, turn on. We're uh, class. Our own class video right now. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Oh, no, I thought class was great. Very informative. I just got work on the back of my mind. So I'm just kind of shaking right now. Yeah. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, Mackenzie, do you want to give us a, a summary reflection or something like that to help us wind down our class video today? I definitely learned a lot, especially about like producing and directing. And I like when you went over the storyboards because I've done storyboards before. But I, they were, it, it was in high school, so I need a little refresher anyway. That's really cool. Okay. Um, I have a question real quick. Do, do, you, do you guys, who know, I know not everybody does, but do you know about how the language of the shot, like how to put shots together? Like, can you just put in, like when you're editing, cutting, can you just, when, when you shoot, you got to think like an editor, you know, because... You can't just put any shot. Do you know what I'm saying? Line. Do you know what I mean by lining shots? When you're editing and you're cutting into your clips, you want to be able to cut into it like butter. Like you, like Xavier knows what I'm talking about because we talked about this in in in. Yeah, in really right. Projects, right. You mean like the transitions and stuff? Not not even the transition. Like you know, like say you've got. Let's just get a, a, an example of say I've got Tamira. And she is on her skateboard, right? And maybe she's telling us about something. So I want to see her face, her reaction. And then the next shot's going to be a full shot. I'm going to see a full shot of her skateboarding down the road. You know, so you want to, you don't want to, you want to, there's, there's a, there's a call, it, there's a book I should pull out for you guys and, and scan it and put it up here. It's called the, the, the I think it's the language of the edit that that putting together shots is a language you know because like when you speak english to somebody you line up your words correctly so that we all understand what the meaning is right so that's like that if you're going to shoot a dramatic film a documentary there's definitely a a, a language that goes with what what shots can be put with what shots um to make it um fluid fluent to flow you know what i'm saying so we can talk about that more too um on wednesday and i could pull up some stuff and we can start thinking about that kind of stuff because i want to feed you this so that when we get to do a project you guys are going to already have that information and you're going to be able to fly with it just give me a head nod <laughs> yes yes <laughs> All right. All right. So we're winding down here. So anything else? Uh, Anthony, I haven't heard from you. Thoughts? Give me a reflection. Yeah, I learned a lot about um, production and how you were telling us about the, um, can't even think right now. How you telling us how what producers do in the studio and about how the storyline basically. Okay. Thank you. And Thank you. you think that when I when it comes time, you'll be able to make a storyboard, and you'll be able. To yeah, storyboard. I couldn't say the right word. Storyboard. That's what I learned a lot about storyboard. All right. And pre-production. Uh, Talisha, uh, Talisha, you have your hand raised. Oh, because when you were talking about basically like, in a sense, transitioning from different shots and stuff. Uh -huh. I was basically asking because last year in one of my, I had took a drama class or whatever, Jada was in there, but um, basically how in the video, he had basically caught like certain things from different angles and stuff, like when she was walking out 
and then showing her trying to open the car and things like that. That's mm-hmm. what you're mm-hmm. referring to? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> that yeah. was funny. Yeah. And, and you know, and like, like I said, if, if your shots aren't put together the right way, have you ever seen bad? Who, who's watched a bad movie? <laughs> Me? Um, what I have. And, and sometimes it's just the I storytelling. Have. It's just the storytelling. It takes you out of the film. You can't get what's going on. You know, Jada, I saw you moving around. Uh, okay, so I want to hear from Jaden and Jamie. I haven't heard from you in class. What What's your thoughts? All right, yeah. Dr. Jamie. Oh, I thought you said Jaden. Yeah, I said Jaden to Jamie. Oh. Oh, so you want Jamie to talk? Either one. I, I can't see your face and I'm I'm, I'm, oh. I'm calling on you. Oh. Oh. I'm outside. <laughs> oh. But man. um Yeah, but I think I mean I kind of I kind of came in like at like 11:30 cuz I was in a different class. But I had caught, um, I had came in when you was talking about like the three cameras. I, I, I think it was like the camera, um, the angles. Okay. And, uh, okay. That was that was like the most. I'm not saying it was boring, but that was like the most in, um, interesting part for for me because okay. I do like um videos and, and stuff. Nice. So like I had like that part, but. Have you done a storyboard? It. Yes, ma'am. In right. high school. Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, good. Well, I'm so glad you made it here, and you and you know we've got the video recorded, so you can see the first part of the class. Mm-hmm. Um, so, what kind of are you into making music videos? Yes, yes, ma'am. Oh man, that's so awesome. But see, okay. like you would you would think like to use a storyboard, but I don't like doing it. I just like write it, if that makes sense. I mean, I okay. guess that's still a storyboard if you just like write. You know oh, what yeah, I'm, yeah, what I'm yeah. trying to say? There's people. You know, I've got I had one kid. I'm sorry, kid. <laughs> One fellow in my class last semester, and and he he did draw some, but he made very detailed notes about how, you know, how he was gonna you know shoot everything. I mean, you know, and he he was one of the best students in the class. Right. So that's that's excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so maybe maybe Wednesday. Yeah, we'll go more towards like. Uh, that that end of it is how to put your shots together and that kind of stuff. Let me mm-hmm. look at that. Um, um, okay, so we're winding down. We've got another minute or so. If any more que- if there if there's no more questions, um, end you wanted me to go next, but I I was listening to the whole class. Um, I just talk a lot, so since I've been in virtual school, I've just been learning how to listen to other people when they speak. So I'm like kind of working on that now. Um, but yeah, I was listening to the whole class and when you were speaking on directors and producers, it's crazy because I'm the junior class president and this year our theme is 22 tube. So it's like a YouTube type of theme. So all of my, um, all of my elected officials, they have their own segment that's coming this fall. It should be like in two weeks now. So I'm like kind of figuring out, am I the director or am I the producer or am I both? Um, in a sense so that was kind of interesting and I was just like going over that yesterday like am I a producer or the president so I don't know if I'm a director or the producer or the president well if you're know. in a volunteer position like you are you might be everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah definitely yeah all right all right well that's how I like that and you know I'm kind of one of those teachers I'm like a responsive class person so you know don't don't think that you have to just be silent in my class. I I, I really like. The no, but I like when I say I talk a lot. Like I get so tired of talking sometimes. Like it's sometimes I need to just listen to. I I talk a lot. I feel the same right. way. I want to <laughs> listen to you guys too. <laughs> so that's good. All right. Um, I think we're good. Um, you know, we're just gonna we're, we got the, this dialogue here, and I'm gonna post it on Blackboard. Later today, I'll send you an email to let you know how to get the, the free Adobe. And um, we're good today. So we'll, I'll see you 11 o'clock on Wednesday, okay? Glad you guys got here. Thanks.